So, I just got off the set of the Lost in Atlantis portion of your movie. Right on. So, gee, tough job. Yeah, but somebody got to do it, you know? I got to go out there and sweat for my audience. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, did the location of the shoot give you a little bit more of an impetus to do this movie? Absolutely. I mean, it beats working in an Antarctica, and this is paradise, and it's a beautiful place, and beautiful people here, and you're on island time, and you can't beat that. And also, you are over the top. You really seemed like you had a great time. Oh, man, I had a blast Let's doing this Let's talk about your count here. Can yeah, you? I mean, um, you know, I play Gabato, the, uh, the pilot tour guide, and uh, I end up on this journey, adventure with these guys, and uh, it was great. I, all, the, all the sets that uh, they build out here, just the locations, like I said, shooting in Hawaii, rain or shine, or two feet of mud. I enjoyed going to work every day. We had a great cast of people here. Um, you know, Dwayne, Vanessa, Josh, Michael Caine. You know, I, I had a great team to work with. And of course, you play the father of Vanessa's character. Mm -hmm. So did, could you relate to that? I couldn't relate to that because I am a father of three beautiful girls. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're my pride, and you know I absolutely embrace the, uh, the the idea and the notion of like, oh, okay, I got a daughter, I'm gonna look out for her, and I'm gonna do whatever it takes to ensure her future. Mm -hmm. And of course, in your role, you're not exactly successful yet, right? Do, did did you relate to that? I mean, here at the, not to give too much away. You have a have a happy ending in this movie. Oh yeah. And I mean, you've come a long way since Miami Vice. Yeah, I think so. Um, you know, I've been really fortunate. I've, I've worked with some great directors, great actors. Uh, been in, in incredible situations, and uh, you know, I just keep plowing away and I keep doing my thing, and I still find myself still growing in this business. How did you grow, say, in this movie? Had you had you worked with Michael Caine before? Never worked with any of the people that were in this movie. I've known of them, of course. But, um, you know, I hit it off, and we complimented each other really well. We had fun working together, and um, I think it shows. It shows up on the screen really, really well. Did you ad-lib a lot? Yeah, because I couldn't remember my line, so I had to, like, come up with something to say most of the time. Yeah. Well, it seemed to work. You did? Yeah, I Th thought, yeah. Thank you. Thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely. I was like a little nervous about that because, you know, like I would spend hours the night before going over lines and I woke up in the morning and I had no clue. I've often wondered how you memorize things. I mean. I can't. I don't. It's like you say something and I'll respond to that and we'll see if that works. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I, I can't. I'm not good with cue cards either. Mm. They don't use cue cards on movie sets, do they? I, I can't. Shh, shh, top secret. Shh. But you're also shooting TV. I mean, you're still you're in a successful HBO series mm -hmm. and a movie star. Yeah. How do you find time for all this? Um, you know what? I do it. I knock it out. I love what I do. I love, I love, uh, I love acting and. I have a wonderful opportunity to work with great actors, and uh, it's a good life. It really is. And I love entertaining people, and I appreciate how people react toward me. And uh, I know that I've done my job, and I've done it well. In many ways, you and Dwayne are kind of Mutt and Jeff mm -hmm. a little bit. You're playing to his pecs a lot. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> How was that in terms of trying to get his him to act silly with you or something? I don't know. You know what? Um, I just think it came out in the whole nature of the circumstance. And uh, it played really well. Um, it, again, it's a situation that you're just complimenting each other. And in the compliment, like you say, you know, we're dealing with like a Mutt and Jeff kind of deal, and I wasn't too sure which one of those two guys I was, but and and it, it just worked, you know. It's good chemistry, it's a good formula, 
And at the end of the day, it's like, well, we had fun doing that. And we were great, and we pat each other on the back. But and then, then we knock you over? <laughs> quite a few times, actually, yeah. You know, I, I, uh, I used to have to run away when I saw the ham coming. He's got big hands. Hey, Louis, the, oh, my, whoa. You know, but uh, I was really envious of his peck. Did he try to teach you how to do that? Yeah, and, um, you know, it didn't work out too well for me. No, well. No. Well, I even tried going to the gym and just, you know, doing like peck exercises, but no. Well, everyone has a specialty. I think so. And yours is? Cooking. Really? Yeah, you know what? I had a great cooking scene in this movie, and they wrote it out. What were you cooking? Huh? What were you cooking? Uh, lizard livers. Okay. Yeah. Director's cut. Maybe it'll make the director's cut. Maybe I get lucky. <laughs> Maybe I get a cooking show. But it seems like you could do another journey, too, very easily. Your character could have his own experience. Not for nothing, but I have to agree with you. And I think somebody's writing it as we speak. Okay. So there, okay. So that's the top secret that I could like let out just a little bit. Okay. So what else is then for you? I mean, so we're going to do Journey 4, we're gonna 5, do 6, journey and 4, 7. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We're going to do the whole franchise. Uh, I just finished doing a movie with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Good guy. Yeah. And uh, that was interesting. How so? I mean, you're working with the Terminator. You know what I mean? I felt pretty safe. Yeah. Good guy. Doesn't look as good as me, but he's okay. You deal with a lot of these big, big, big guys, don't you? Well, you know what? They need as much support as possible. You know, in Dwayne's case, he's still young and athletic and he got the skills, but I had to help out Mr. Arnold. He's I'll a good guy, though. Yeah, man. I like him a lot. Well, I'll look forward to seeing that and the rest of the, the great journey. Yeah. It's great. You know what? I had such a fun time doing this movie. And, again, it's a great cast and good entertainment. And we had a wonderful director, Brad Payton. And um, it all comes together and it works really well. I love the elephants. Yeah. I love the elephants. Matter of fact, they didn't give you one. They're giving out... To all the media people. Okay, well, I've got to get, get in line. Yeah. So I guess we better wrap it up. It's in the parking lot. Okay.